What's the story, guys? Welcome to another episode of What Happens Here, Las Vegas' newest sports and entertainment program. I'm your host, Marcus Deegan, shooting from Sin City in Las Vegas. Thanks very much for joining us for episode 19. We are staying with the mixed martial arts interviews today, and especially on this point of Team McGregor. I've been interviewing these guys all week, and we're just adding another one to the list. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little bit about this man. He is an accomplished wrestler and grappler. He is one of the top coaches in the industry today. And he has a, uh, he's got an amazing gym, part of the SBG chain. He's been Conor McGregor's wrestling coach for some time now. He is a husband, he's a dad, he's a business owner, and he's my good friend. Welcome to the show, my brother, Sergey. What's the story, coach? Hey, what's happening, Mark? It's good to see you. There's some, uh, some entry. Good. <laughs> oh, I only do the best intros for the best guests. How's the, how are you, mate? What's happening in quarantine? Yeah, man. Uh, well, I, I guess like everybody else, you know, I was trying to... Uh, get the best out of the life, you know, at, at this moment, um, you know, staying home, um, you know, spending more time with my family, um, you know how much I love them, so with, when my son, my daughter, my daughter is actually, um, you know, she's, she's two and a half years old and she's changing from being a, you know, baby to, to a girl, so it's nice, nice to, uh, nice to spend, spend more time with the family and, uh, you know, and especially with, with my son, I, I know he's trying twice a day. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's good, you know. But still, can't wait to uh, have everything back to normal. Well, you know, it's 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 great to see. I mean, you you're in a perfect position right now. You've got your own amazing facility with all this fantastic equipment. And I see you guys on social media. You're still keeping up your training. Um, how how do you think that this pandemic has changed as far as um, people coming to the gyms now? People, a lot of people are doing it online training now. You see a lot of these Zoom meetings. Um, how, how has this affected you and your business during this time? Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Um, it's, I mean, it's nobody, everybody's training from home. Um, but I still also coach guys from, from actually day one, um, through the zoom. So I do still, you know, some, uh, training, strength conditioning, you know, but it's kind of more wrestling orientated, uh, uh, training. Um, yeah, and it's great to keep keep the keep uh, contact you know with with the guys with your team. Um, so um, yeah, we still we also doing it. It, it. It's not the same, but um, we're gonna go through it. Why I, is I, I have to say actually some of the guys are even uh, training more uh, than before because I have different groups, right? I have in SBG Nays, I have um, obviously kids, teens, um, and 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 adults. So specifically teens now, because, you know, they're growing, right? Uh, yeah. They're growing fast and, and, and they spend a lot, of, a lot of time now. So they're in a very good shape. So actually, they will be in, in, a, in a good condition coming, coming out of this uh, uh, pandemic. Do you think it's really important that kids get into some kind of sport, whether it be wrestling or grappling or boxing? Do you think it's important for kids to do some kind of martial arts? I think so, and and I would always, obviously, because I'm a wrestling coach and I've done wrestling all my life. I would recommend any any boy, you know, have to go through uh, through wrestling. It's one of the um, toughest sports, um, but it also, you know, it teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you things. Uh, you know, it teaches you uh, to get what you want and, and go, you know, day by day because you know. It, and, and outside of the sport as well, you know, it teaches you, so you, people take you down, take you down, and you need to stand up and go back again, go back again, go back again, and eventually you can start winning and get, you became stronger, uh, faster, and um, it, this is the sport, especially wrestling, this is the sport uh, for, you know, it, it, it develop you from everywhere, develop you from, um, you know, obviously from physical point of view, from explosiveness point of view, uh, but also you need to you need to make a decision as well and a fast decision because we, we need to think about uh, a move and your body have to do it straight away and, and the whole body need to uh, to work. So uh, um, I would definitely recommend any kid to go through um, really through through any sport because it will teach you the discipline. Um, and I think it's very, very important that these three parts, once the, the kid gets it at the early age, he can then, you know, have that blueprint when, you know, if he doesn't have to go through, you know, competing uh, professionally, but whatever he'll do in life, it will, it will help him, definitely. It will make him way stronger than um, um, his competition, whatever he's going to be doing. Well, it's remarkable because I see you training your son. 
Um, and he has this uh, really amazing ability uh, for someone his age. Now, just because he's your son, I know that obviously you think that he's the greatest, but is there something special with Albert? Does he have an ability at his age that most young boys don't? Uh, I guess because, you know, with Albert, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to spend as much time as, as I can and because and, he's my son, but he's actually he's, he's very uh, kind and nice kid. Um, I just love him, you know, the way he thinks, the way he say things. I just, I just adore him. And... Uh, I love spending time with him, and 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 to be honest, we I, I, I train him since I played, right? So at the beginning, you play with the kids. He, since he's he's a baby, I start doing you know kind of baby massages to him when he's two months old, you know, and 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 I still do massages to him. I fix his the whole body when he's too tired. So I, I do train with him, and I kind of build up his his, his body until now, um, and. and yeah, I mean, I, I, I love him. I, I, I mean, his, him. his physique is incredible. He's, got, he's ripped and he's got abs and I see him climbing the ropes and I see him doing all the drills. And is that something that he wants to do, Sergey? Is, does, is he, does he have a vision what he wants to do? Does he want to compete? He, you're right. He's working very hard. Um, but you know what? I think at this stage, it's, it's early to say. Um, you know, he's only nine years old. It's early to say, but I'll support him in, in any direction he's, he's going to want to uh, want to go so i'm not going to push him anywhere uh, but i will support him and i'll make sure he succeeds in, in anything he, he does um, at this stage what i want i want to make sure he's 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 fit he's healthy and you know and uh, his his body is bulletproof so that's that's what i want and then if he decided to go and continue i will i'll support him and um, i know for a fact in a way because because you know i'm kind of always imagine this if he's going to go fighting you know, I'm probably going to be, you know, I'm going to be losing my head, you know, every single fight. So, to be honest, it's it's a, it's still a long way to to, to go. But um, as of now, yeah, he loves competing, and in the, it's a, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But uh, as of now, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep growing, and just having fun. I, like I always have fun with him, try to make it as a fun, try to make it as a game. Um, however, I really make him uh, work very, very hard. Um, but I'm, I'm trying not to probably go to through the, you know, it's always have to be kind of the, the line where you, you don't cross it, don't, don't, don't go too, too hard on the kid. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I think because I came from a different generation, the way we, we've been coached at his age, it's, it's totally different. You know, the, the, uh, the world had obviously has changed, you know, people became much more, um, and kids as well, much more softer, you know, because it's so many things to do today, these days. So I'm kind of trying to keep him, you know, uh, on a hard, um, on a hard road, you know, for 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 when we when we train it, but trying to mix it up to to have that fun. Well, you're doing an incredible job and I, I see nothing but great things for him. And I see how much he cares about his little sister and I see her rolling around on the mats now as well. So maybe you got a couple of future champions there with, uh, with your baby, Sergey. Now, the last time I saw you, uh, I think it was, it was actually out here in Las Vegas um, after Connor fought Cowboy Cerrone. Were you surprised to see Cerrone back in the octagon so quickly last week? Um, no, really. I mean, he's, 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 he's always... Um... He's, he's a very busy fighter, you know, throughout his career. I mean, he's probably one of the most, you know, the fighter that, or the most fighters. So, and, and he, as any fighter, you know, after the loss, you want to come back and, uh, um, you know, get the, get, get the win. So, I'm not, I'm not surprised that he's, he's back so fast. Um, yeah, it was, was it, it was a great, it was a great, a uh, lot of great fights on the weekend. Of course, the main event, which was Justin, Justin Gaethje and Tony Ferguson, um, Justin pulled off the win. Uh, where do you see that going from now? Do you see that Justin was going to now fight Khabib? Or do you think that our man Connor's going to step in there and, and show them how it's done? You know, the thing is with, with Khabib, I, I think he's, you know, he's now in Ramadan and he usually kind of fights once a year. Really, it's about September, October time. If you kind of look back, that's just how he fights. He kind of once a year at, yeah. at, at that time, September, October. So I think he's not going to fight earlier than that. So and and uh, and I see Conor is is, is want to fight Takechi. So um, I think it'll be a great fight. So um, and yeah, 
Um, I, I think with Gaethje, we could, could be interesting. But both, Connor, Connor will, will do both fights. But, uh, I think yeah. Gaethje could be the next one. Yeah, I mean, I, I can pretty much see Connor walking through him. Now, we, we, we get a lot of the fans that um, want me to ask you some questions that we put online there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you a couple of fan questions that we've got. Now, one of the fans wanted to know, how was the wrestling preparation for the Khabib fight different from all the others? Because we all know that everybody says Connor's got no wrestling or grappling ability. However, he got in the octagon with people like Mendez Alvarez and, and, and did really, really well with Khabib in my eyes. Was, was the preparation different for the Khabib fight than it was for any of the other good wrestlers? Um, yes. Uh, and, and, well, different in a way that, um, as Conor was saying, he wasn't, he wasn't fully committed to it. He, he, you know, um, he wasn't in, in, in there. But in terms of um, the camp for, 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 for the, in terms of wrestling, yes, we, we do um, work on you know, some of the specific things, but... Uh, um, and, and this camp it wasn't wasn't great, so it wasn't the way we, you know, the way we planned it, the way we wanted. So uh, um, that's probably where is the the difference. <laughs> so obviously, um, a full fledged, hundred percent committed fight from Connor will go a lot differently than the last one. Um, when do you think that um, you're going to be back over here in the United States, man? Because once this pandemic's over. Do you think that you guys will be getting back to Vegas straight away? I hope so. I yeah. So I love Vegas. I love Vegas. I mean, uh, it, it's a, it's a great city. It's it's always great to have uh, Conor fight there. I mean, the atmosphere is amazing. You've got you know uh, half the country flying over as well with us. Um, uh, I mean, I, I love Vegas. The the, the, the fighting there is uh, is unbelievable. The atmosphere. Um, so yeah, I, I think. Uh, it, that could be that could be location as well for, as for the next fight, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Roddy the other day, and he was saying that Vegas is like a second home for you guys. You come here, you kind of know the locals, you know the best places to eat. Would you say that's 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 a fair statement? I'd say so, yeah, because I mean we've been in so many times there. I mean we we um, pretty much know Vegas, <laughs> different, different different things over there. I mean, I've stayed so many, so many months um, in, in, you know, in accumulation all these fights. So, um, yeah, it, it is. We even joking and say, you know, we are we are local here, we're local in Vegas. Plus the sun. I mean, I love the sun. I I'm, I come from uh, a, a hot country as well um, on on summer. Um, so I love I love uh, I love heat. Well, that, that, that Vegas summer heat is just about to kick in now. It's pushing about 104 degrees. In the next couple of months, it's going to be up to 123. So you might be lucky that you're not here, mate, because this sun can fry you out here in the desert. So what you love it. I mean, it's, I mean, everybody from Europe tends to love it. All the Irish and all the, they, they just love this Vegas heat. It kills me. It shrivels me up. So, so what's next, Sergey? What's next in the life of you? What's next in your career? Are you going to expand and get another gym? Are you going to stay on Team McGregor? What's next for you? Yeah, no. In terms of gym, I mean, uh, our, the gym is only still under two years old. So, still young, young gym. And um, so, we're building, uh, we're building the, our guys, uh, and uh, actually, we've got the tremendous uh, success already. And um, for the year time, I mean, we have wrestling team. Uh, or, wrestling team, a jiu-jitsu team, we have um, a striking team. And when I say team, I mean the, the guys that compete in our, our already in this discipline. And especially from a wrestling point of view, of, uh, in the first year, we've had so many competition um, that I was even after six months, uh, so many competition, the guy competed and, and all over the, the, the UK. We were in the UK, we were in Scotland, we were in uh, uh, Northern Ireland, Ireland. And in one year, so I think uh, besides other, obviously besides other MMA fights in, in between, that, that uh, I also look, look after some other guys and, and um, go and fight some MMA fights with them. So it, it's been very, very busy and it, it's been amazing. The guys who have great talent, uh, to be honest, they like kids and teenagers and already adults who are moving already, you know, they've been competing, so they're building up, they're competing in each uh, discipline, then they move into uh, amateur uh, amateur MMA. So we are shaping it up nicely, um, mm. and as well, the next generation, we should move. It doesn't happen in, uh, overnight, right? It doesn't happen overnight. Uh, 
Well, you know what? You, you're doing a remarkable thing, not only for the community, but for the kids as well, Sergey. I mean, I've seen you around for the last few years and, you know, you've been part of this incredible journey, which we call the McGregor train, but you've always stayed humble. And it's great that you put a lot of the, you put a lot back into the training these kids, man. I, I think it's, um, it's very admirable, Sergey. It really, really is. And, you know, I've known you for a couple of years now. We've seen and ran into each other a few times. Um, as I said to Coach Roddy, I'm an unofficial part of Team McGregor, but you will always see me there supporting. Sergey. Yeah, I'm Team McGregor because, I mean, you always be with us. You always, you know, at the fights, uh, you, you are Team McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy one when I've had too many of these, proper 12. <laughs> <laughs> Sergey, is there anything you want to say on a positive note to everybody out there before we leave? Yeah, well, I, I guess what what we need to do is is just you know enjoy enjoy every single moment now and and, and try to uh, um, to do our best and, and you know try to do what you usually been doing to kind of um, you know and enjoy the life. Yeah, and just just it's going to be over soon, so hopefully um, we we'll go back to our normal life. So we'll, we'll go through this. Um, we'll we'll go through this. There well, you go. You have it from the man right there. Sergey, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show today. You've been a class act and a stellar guest. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, my friend. I look forward to running into you maybe uh, here in Vegas when I get my media credentials. You're going to see me down in the pit asking questions post and pre-fight. I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my man, my brother, Sergey Pekulski. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, Marcus. And, uh, you know, pleasure for being, being, on your, uh, being on your show. You're doing a great, great job. Um, you know, you bring a very interesting people all the time in a short period of time, and and uh, um, and you one of the genuine, truly genuine people that that, that I know. That first time I met you, like face to face, we obviously been been uh, talking before, and you just you just uh, a gent. So uh, a pleasure, and uh, stay safe, my, my friend. Hey guys, Marcus here. Today's episode was proudly sponsored by Team Guilty Clothing, Conquered Apparel, Rise Fight Gear, Mojada Clothing Wear, how could we forget, Fit Guru Fight Retreats in Las Vegas. Of course, Wildcats for all your cannabis needs, and of course, Baller Balm for when your beard needs to be money. Today's episode was fueled by Proper 12, the finest, the tastiest liquid gold on the planet.